Hey everybody, it's me. Um, I just wanted to start out by saying thank you so much to everyone who um, lifted me up in prayer. Uh, it's it's really been um, actually pretty encouraging. Um, I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling uh, the Holy Spirit just being really loud in me. Um, but more amazingly, um, my son, uh, he's 18 years old and, uh, he works and he also goes to college and, uh, so he doesn't get a whole lot of sleep, but, uh, he told me yesterday, um, mom, I, I had a dream <clears throat> and I said, well, you know, tell me about it. <laughs> so he told me about it, and before I get started, I, I just want to let you know, uh, he will be on his cell phone with his girlfriend uh, a lot of times, and he will fall asleep, and uh, with her still on the phone, <clears throat> and <laughs> anyway, so that's like a necessary piece of information, because uh, she actually heard him when he was dreaming. He's always... Uh, walked and talked in his sleep, uh, more so when he was little, and uh, he gets it naturally from me because I used to be um, a, a really bad sleepwalker and talker. I don't really do that now that I'm older. I might still talk, I don't know, but I'm not awake to hear myself. But anyway, um, so <clears throat> my son told me last night, uh, and this, you guys, is just amazing. I kid you not. So he had a dream last night that he was in a park uh, playing with his nephew, my grandson, Jalen. And uh, my son likes to play, uh, you know, war games. I'm not really happy about it, but, you know, he plays this um, game called Call of Duty, right? Um, <clears throat> anyway, in the game of Call of Duty, there's this one thing that he does, uh, it's air defense. And it's where he's defending himself, um, you know, in the air, uh, I guess, air attack. And uh, so anyway, back to the dream again, I tend to go off in little side stories. I apologize. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so he had a dream, he was outside at a park playing with Jalen, his nephew, my grandson. And uh, he was playing uh, air defense, you know, uh, which is, you know, part of the Call of Duty, uh, which is a war game. And uh, then all of a sudden, he heard all of the sirens going off. Uh, you know, like we live in East Texas, so you'll hear sirens every time there's a tornado warning. And we know those sirens fairly well. We know that noise. <laughs> so, um, he said all the sirens started going off and then somebody over a loudspeaker was saying, evacuate, evacuate. So he put Jalen on top of his shoulders, you know, put him on his shoulders and started running and, uh, to escape. Uh, there was somebody else there that was running with him, but he doesn't know who it was. So he's running and he's running and he gets to all of these uh, telephone lines, which he said are like the outdoor telephone lines that are on the poles outside. <clears throat> and uh, they, they weren't live or anything, but they were all like huge and massive amounts all tangled up in each other. And he had to go through these. He was you know, trying to struggle through it, you know, like walking, getting through all of this, this maze of telephone lines, uh, until he came out to the other side. And when he came out to the other side, he said he was in like a Best Buy or a Walmart warehouse. And, um, and, uh, that was the end of his dream. Well, his girlfriend, um, talked to him in the morning and said, uh, you know, what were you dreaming about? Because I heard you yelling, we're getting bombed. The U.S. is getting bombed February 28th. 
And uh, when my son told me that, I was just shocked. <laughs> wow. Um, so the telephone lines, uh, I felt that he had a struggle to go through were uh, miscommunication, not getting the connection, not getting the information that we needed to be told, uh, you know, whether it be intentional or not, uh, but you know how that goes. So uh, there was misinformation. I believe that he was struggling to get um, the right information. Um, playing air defense, Call of Duty, that's a war game. And air defense means something's coming in the air. And, uh, and uh, so him coming uh, out into the warehouse, um, uh, Sis Robin and I were talking that, about that possibly being, uh, you know, the tribulation where they're going to store people, they're going to keep people. Um, you know, and it could also be, uh, shelter, you know, so I'm not saying anything's happening on the February 28th. I'm just saying my son had this dream and his girlfriend heard him yell that, say that. So, uh, I felt it was at least worth sharing. So, you know, I felt it, it should be shared, uh, Again, I'm not saying that we're getting anything on the 28th, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely something that I thought should be shared and uh, you can ask Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you to the conclusion. Um, I, I believe it might be significant. I believe something of some kind of significance uh, may be on the 28th, um, but of course time will tell. So anyway, um, I love you guys. Um, have an awesome rest of the day. Be blessed and uh, just keep staying in the spirit. I think I have to keep praising God. I have to keep praising and worshiping and staying in the word because it's so easy to fall out. And when you fall out, you, you really, you feel it. It's, it's like you can't function. Um, so just, you know, stay in Him, worship, and stay close, and keep looking up, you know, it, it is so soon, it really is, we're not appointed to wrath, you know that, and uh, of course, I think we'll be gone by the time uh, the world is hit by a lot of the things that are going to happen, so anyway, love you guys, be blessed.